His panel pacing is one of the most important technologies for the future of uh, cardiac pacing in patients with heart failure and maybe even beyond that in patients with normal left ventricular function. I would like to share with you the results of the Geisinger His Bundle Pacing Registry which uh, added significant new news to the field. In the Geisinger His Bundle uh, Pacing Registry, two groups were compared. It's ob observational, it's non-randomized, but it's a fairly large uh, clinical study. It's 330 patients that underwent his bundle pacing that were compared to 430 patients that underwent regular right ventricular pacing. In that registry, the primary endpoint was a composite endpoint of death, worsening of heart failure hospitalization, or upgrade to CRT therapy. The results of the registry are really impressive. With his bundle pacing, the QRS duration could be reduced from 160 milliseconds in the right ventricular paced group to 120 milliseconds in the his bundle pacing group. Moreover, it was impressive to learn that almost 95% of all patients that were allocated for the his bundle pacing group could be effectively implanted. There was a clinic, uh, statistically significant difference between uh, both groups when it came to the main outcome of interest, this composite uh, endpoint. Very interesting is that the difference between the two groups was even more pronounced when patients with a right ventricular pacing rate of more than 20% were uh, evaluated uh, separately. It seems that the more pacing is necessary, the more profit from his bundle pacing can be gained. Summing it up, where do we stand in his bundle pacing now? The uh, registry adds significant to what has been uh, assumed or known before, and it sets the stage for a prospective randomized trial comparing conventional right ventricular pacing with his bundle pacing in patients that require pacing for bradycardia.